guys welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you find out the differences between electron geometry and molecular geometry both these terminolo terminologies are frequently used in chemistry to understand the shape of the molecule and although one might consider that these both these terms are similar to each other or uh, can be used in place of one another it is not true there are some differences between these two terminologies that you should be aware of both molecular geometry and electron geometry are different from each other and this video will help you to understand the differences with ease so to start with it we are first going to look at what do we mean by molecular geometry so molecular geometry is generally the three-dimensional arrangement of the atoms which happens in the molecule and this shape also includes the bond lengths, the bond angles, the torsional angles and other geometrical parameters that can help us determine the position of atoms. So uh, if I have to define it in one sentence, I'll be say that basically it is the shape of the molecule which is because of the arrangement of the atoms. So what we look at here is the arrangement of atoms and not electrons or electron pairs. So we only look at the arrangement of atoms uh, in the molecule to know its molecular geometry. Here if you take the example of H2O molecule which is the water molecule, we have oxygen atom in the center that forms bonds with two hydrogen atoms. If you look at the arrangement of these atoms, uh, the shape of the molecule is bent and hence we consider the molecular geometry of this um, water molecule to be bent. Now here we just look at the arrangement of atoms in the molecule, correct? Now if you proceed ahead and if you understand electron geometry, you will be able to understand the differences between them. So electron geometry is the arrangement of the electron groups, okay? And even if there are lone pairs of electrons that are not bonding to any other atoms that are located in the molecule, it is going to affect the shape of the molecular, like it is going to affect the shape of the specific molecule. So what happens is this lone pair affect the molecular geometry and the shape of the molecule, but they do not affect the electron geometry of it. So in molecular geometry, we look at the arrangement of atoms, in the molecule whereas in the electron geometry we look at the arrangement of electron pairs or electron groups in the molecule so um, if all the electron groups are bonded and there are no lone pairs then the electron geometry and the molecular geometry are the same now there might be several instances where you might come across molecules that have different electron geometry and molecular geometry now this happens because of the arrangement of the lone pairs uh, that are present in the molecule Generally, the lone pairs affect the molecular geometry, but they do not affect the electron geometry. So, if you look over here, we have CH4 molecule and um, the electron geometry of uh, this one is tetrahedral because the electron pairs are arranged in all the four directions and they are spread out evenly and hence it is a tetrahedral uh, molecular, it is a tetrahedral electron geometry. Uh, so, basically the difference is that even if there are lone pairs, there, there will be no change in electron geometry of it like the electron geometry is same but it will uh, affect the molecular geometry and the shape of the molecule okay so these were the definitions of these uh, terminologies when you talk about the differences the electron geometry is predicted by considering both electron that are electron pairs that are participating in bond formation as well as the ones that are not participating in the bond formation so we consider both bonding pairs of electrons and non-bonding pairs of electrons for electron geometry Whereas for molecular geometry, we only consider the bond, the pairs which are actually participating in the bond formations. So, uh, for example, if you go back to this slide and if you look at this H2O molecule, in molecular geometry, we just look at the bonding pairs that are participating in this uh, bond formation, which is the electron pairs that are participating in this OH bond. All right. So we only take into consideration those uh, electron pairs uh, in electron geometry we do consider the lone pairs and in molecular geometry we, are, we do not consider lone pairs but somehow it affects the uh, geometry of it and in electron geometry the number of total electron pairs should be counted to to have the proper electron geometry in molecular geometry we count only the number of total bonding pairs of electrons so the uh, striking difference between these two uh, geometries is this we count the number of bonding pairs of electrons in molecular geometry b when it comes to molecular geometry we look at the arrangement of atoms in the molecule which can be affected by the lone pairs bonding pairs of electrons in elect whereas in electron geometry we just look at the arrangement of electrons and we do not take into consideration the atoms okay 
the third point is uh, that the lone pairs are considered in electron uh, geometry and lone pairs are not considered in molecular geometry because what we see in molecular geometry is as a whole is because of the um, is is the sum total of all the factors that could affect the shape of the molecule so electron geometry to be simply put is just a just about the arrangement of electron pairs in the molecule if you want to remember it that way and molecular geometry is the shape and the uh, molecular geometry of the molecule which is due to several factors as mentioned uh, previously and you can also check out our detailed blog post on the similar topic and we have linked that in our description box below it will help you to understand this topic in much better way and it will also give you all the details as well as other examples so make sure to check our link that we have this uh, that we have shared in our description box below and i hope this video helps you to understand the differences between molecular geometry and electron geometry uh, for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecule, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.